What's up guys, this is Phil from Fierce Technology and this is the iPhone XR, not the XR, the XR. I know a lot of people are mistaken by the name of it and this is the product red variation and it's a 128 gigabyte. So we're gonna actually unbox this one today and get a closer look at it. So let's go ahead and start. We've got the little tab right here. We're just gonna pull that little tab nicely right there and there's no more cutting of the box like before the all the new iPhones now have that really really handy tab so we can take the plastic off and then we can keep that plastic nicely if we want to and as always iPhone will have the wow factor display so let's go ahead and wow factor this phone boom take that off we do have the little cover right here and we're gonna actually take that out first and actually I'm gonna juke you guys I'm gonna juke you guys I'm not gonna show you the phone woo, woo. we're gonna hide the phone for a second we're gonna take a look at this and one thing that's very different with the product red variations we do get the the redness right there so I'm not even sure what this is I've never had a product red product and there we go product red and if you guys aren't familiar with the product red line a portion of the proceeds of the phone do get donated towards the AIDS Foundation so uh, I'm not sure the exact amount that's not something that Apple specifies but they do even give you a little card which does explain that they will contribute to the global funds to support HIV and AIDS so kind of cool all right we'll take a look at what else we have this is a Canadian version as you can see the bonjour for French we got the hello we've got the uh, little ejector tool which is always handy to have and we've got your standard Apple stickers it'd be really cool if they actually made the Apple stickers in the product red color but we've just got the standard white one so we'll put the stuff aside there and let's have a look at the actual phone itself so we'll take off that nice packaging and box and boom all you do see is black and we're gonna actually lift this out right here and as you see the beautiful side we'll take a look at that back there it is gorgeous looking look at that beautiful color I love the product red and this one it's I would say it's a slight bit darker than the previous product reds uh, all the product reds that they do come out with are a slight different color variation but I like this and it's it's almost like a like a blood red but it, it is very fitting we're gonna take off the little plastic piece right here so we can get a nice pretty look at that and see that shine in the light there. Just gorgeous looking color. We'll take the front plastic piece off as well. And if we look on the actual side of the actual phone, it's all a stainless steel and it's all the colored in red stainless steel, which is a slightly different color than the actual back because the back is actually glass for your wireless charging. But they do mesh very, very nicely. Looks absolutely gorgeous of a phone. There it is in my hand. We'll just take a nice, Oh yes, I like that phone. Great, 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 great color. Okay, we're gonna put that aside. We're gonna actually get a look at what's inside the box. We do have, of course, your USB charging cable. Always handy to have one of those. The five want one, so this is not the fast charging one. You can pick up the fast charging one separately if you want to. And then we've got your ear pods, and these ones are the ones with the lightning connector. Obviously, there's no headphone jack, and they don't include the 3.5 millimeter adapter, which is different from previous years, but you know what, that's okay. We don't really use that anymore, and most people are using wireless earbuds I've got the airpods myself so I don't even use any of these earbuds anymore and then we've got your standard USB lightning cable three foot size so uh, pretty basic pretty standard as far as what's included inside of the box that's about it but who can argue that the phone itself is just beautiful 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 and I do have beside me the iPhone 10 and this is last year's iPhone 10, but very much the same size as the iPhone uh, 10s this year. And I also have an iPhone 10s Max beside me, which we'll compare in a second. But there's your iPhone 10 comparison size-wise. Um, it's about, it's a little bit longer. You can see it's got the bigger display on the actual uh, iPhone 10R. So it is definitely a bigger display. And so we'll take a look at the actual iPhone 10s Max and this is this year. So uh, the iPhone XS Max is the one that's above, and then we've got the XS, which is actually uh, slightly lower than the XS Max, and then this one is supposed to fall kind of in between as far as sizing goes, but spec-wise, it's a little bit lower, but you can see it's a gorgeous phone. It's still up to date. It still takes amazing quality pictures, and it's a gorgeous looking design. 
there it is. So we've, I've got the actual white uh, stainless steel, the silver one that they actually call it. So you can see the color difference on the back. If we look, you can see that we've got the stainless steel band all in silver, the polished stainless steel, and then we've got the, the painted red one. So the only thing you'd have to be very careful about is with the painted stainless steel, it's, it is prone to a little bit of chipping and wearing down a little bit, whereas the polished look one, you can actually just use uh, stainless steel polish to, to clean it down. But I'm sure you're not too worried about that. You're gonna put a case on it anyways, but there it is iPhone 10 R gorgeous looking in the product red. Let me know what you guys think of this phone in the comments down below. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.